Hello everyone and welcome back to the Shmella PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today we're just going to be going over a quick video on the new customer matching feature for all advertisers. Now why this is good is because actually before uh, the marketing event in May of 2021, we actually had to have 90 days of spent and 50k lifetime ad spend, which, you know, for a lot of people, they just never get to that point. And there's a lot of accounts that already have it right away. So there's a big, there was a big lift in terms of what people were able to use with it and who were not. Um, and since then, I actually just got out of beta, I believe, probably a couple months ago, maybe even it got officially announced on November 15th. And that's when all advertisers have access to that. Um, I've seen probably 90% of my accounts have access to that now. Some are still not. Um, I believe that might be due to either suspension in the past or stuff like that. However, most of you will be having access now. And what this means is we can actually use an observation and targeting setting. And I think the targeting setting is what really goes under the radar for a lot of accounts. Um, you don't know how to use your first party data that you have. However, there's multiple ways that I'll show you in this video why you should be using your customer match data in here and how easy it is to actually do this. Um, it used to be a little bit more technical in how to upload this and you get a lot of errors. However, also a point of this that was announced last month in November was that it's making it easier to do that by showing you where the error is, if it's an unrecognized column header name, um, or if there was incorrect value in a, in a header, stuff like that, and actually even uh, do the changes for you now. So well, I got a lot easier to do <laughs> and definitely want to take advantage of this. Um, overall though, a few ways you can use this um, is in the targeting setting. Again, this is, I think, the best area for most people to use this when doing either uh, display or discovery-based campaigns, even YouTube, stuff like that. And then in the observation setting, this is actually a good way to kind of target and see how people are already interacting with your campaigns. Um, specifically, if you have an email list of just email subs, and you know you got a free ma a lead magnet, and then they you know you have on their email list. How are they performing against your actual campaigns already, right? And then kind of see can you increase your bid modifiers to that and stuff like that. Um, similar audiences again a great way to target new people that may be interested in your products. Um, I see this works really well with Discovery and YouTube right now, so definitely keep that. And then again manual bid adjustments. This is good for the increasing or decreasing um, if you want to be really aggressive in the auction insights. And then we have manual bid adjustments. This is really good to kind of either increase or decrease how aggressive you want to be um, in an auction. Uh, if you have, you know, let's say a list of your highest value customers over the last year, um, if they have, you know, or ordered a certain amount over X and, you know, they're looking for a product of yours, but not, not a brand name, you know, bid 100% higher, 50% higher. What, what does it matter if they're a whale customer to you, right? If they're going to be very valuable, bid very aggressively. Um, and then exclusions, again, if you have say a product that is a subscription based product or you don't want them to be you know taking your ad spend for the next x amount of days maybe 30 days if they just bought um, definitely exclude them however make sure you are refreshing that list very frequently otherwise they're just never going to actually see your ads so um, there's a couple use cases there and let's actually go to the actual audience manager here um, this is what it looks like when you go to an account you go to tools and settings share library and then audience manager and then just hit that blue plus sign under uh, segments and you come to here and this is a new audience segment customer list again a little daunting when we first look at it however very easy to do um, what you want to do i find it easier um, to do just a google sheets so go to sheets.new and then have these six columns you want exactly all six in this correct order uh, to make it as easy as possible if you upload this so when you do that um, if you're in shopify just export for, for now, just do all customers. That's usually a good one to just get started. Expert all customers, put that into either a Google Sheets, um, uh, a numbers file for a Mac, et cetera, Excel, and then only have these six columns. The only column you really need in terms of data is email. You want this one to be always filled out, always correct, and then the rest is can come and go. Um, a little tip though for country, that's just um, country code, so like US for United States, and then zip. I have a lot of issues with the zip code, so I always just leave this blank um, just because sometimes there's formatting issues. However, the only one you actually need data to be filled out on all of them is email just because that allows Google to also connect with their enhanced conversions coming out or that already are out, but that will be required next year. If you're a Gmail user, they have further access to your data. So once you have that in a sheet, download to a, C a CSV file and then upload here, choose file, 
make sure this is checked. And then you can either um, add expiration date up to 100, 540 days. Um, again, for your all customers list, I would just do no uh, expiration. However, if you say have a subscription based pot, uh, product and you want to make sure it comes and goes every couple of days, then I would do that here. Uh, description up to you, how many you have, and then just upload and create. And if it's not done correctly, you will get an error that, error that looks like this right here. Um, and then you can just apply changes if need be. Uh, but yeah, make sure it's in a CSV file and that's it. And then a uh, special use case that I want to present in this video today, um, especially for my e-commerce clients. Uh, and what I want to show you is how to utilize an alt customers list. Um, with smart shopping campaigns, it turns into a remarketing focus after a couple of months, um, even a couple of weeks if you're having high enough spend. And what you want to do to avoid that situation, this just got came out in October and a lot of people don't know about it, is you actually tell Google who your all customers are and it will make it a little bit more streamlined in terms of when you're segmenting by a new customer versus returning. And you go to tools and settings, conversions, and then when you're in here, go to settings. And now it's gonna look like this. Go to existing customers. And here is when you can actually target your all customer list. Um, I would upload this probably once a month, or if you wanna use Zapier and get a little fancy with that, definitely can. However, I just ask all my clients, send me a new list on the first of the month, and then just upload it here. And then that's it. And if depending on how big your list is, this will definitely help smart shopping kind of differentiate between a new versus returning customer and help your bottom line. That is it. That is again, just a quick update for you today, uh, going over the new customer uh, matching lists kind of overall thing. And again, as always for the Google ad segments, we are sponsored by uh, the overall marketing utopia. Uh, again, very proud supporter of this product. I use it myself and I help a lot of people here as well. Uh, and a proud writer of this product as well. Um, again, this is I think $25 a month and kind of learn anything you want about the overall e-commerce marketing. Um, you have paid ads, Facebook, Google, TikTok, um, LinkedIn, all, all that kind of stuff, email marketing, SEO, uh, copywriting, everything you can think about, it's all in here. I think there's over 2000 members now. And again, I'm a proud supporter of this. So I do have a referral link in the description below. Um, and when you're in here, again, this is kind of just a quick dashboard. Uh, the, the latest one is how to write a great headline for your e-commerce brand or agency's homepage. Again, this is more towards people trying to create something themselves or if they already have an e-commerce product and you want to learn how to market it effectively and efficiently, if you need to, how to brand your homepage, brand your product. And then there's weekly events every, I think every Monday and Wednesday, uh, live calls with people that are uh, seven to eight figure brand owners in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to become a Utopia member, please use the link below. Proud supporter of that. And thank you again for stopping by and have a great week. Thank you.